Hi, Editing Izzy here, and I know what you're gonna say. Iz, it's been two weeks since you posted another video, and you chose a food vlog? Well, this is different. To be fair, I wanted to give less talking real-time videos such as like my podcast or eat with me in exchange for perhaps a more snappy quick little vlog also i really wanted to show you how talented my mom is with her cooking skills so i'm bringing you this week of what i eat in penang at home because we all know that penang island has the best food on in malaysia right fight me yep so here are some cinematic shots and awkward iphone pans because i got lazy to bring out the big camera don't judge me on my eating habits okay since all of my meals are spent with family also with my 91 year old grandma it's quite hard to cook for myself and determine what meals i want to eat because we're all catering it for a more healthy <laughs> that's such a lie we're not eating healthy but you know, more Chinese meals because my grandma likes it when we all eat together. So food choices are up to the master chef, Mama Lo. Asian food all the way, baby! Lego! First off, we have a classic breakfast meal, wonton mee. Black, beautiful, gooey noodles with tasu and some vegetables. Mix it up in the sauce to drench it and enjoy that black noodles. How many of you guys actually eat wonton mee for breakfast or lunch? I'm curious. Penang has like a very, very famous store near Hutton Lane, I believe. So do check it out over there. Next up, we have Hainanese chicken rice. Or I think this is just chicken rice, actually. Add it with a bit of chili and of course, our famous Penang takwe diao. This is lobak. It is fried radish, I think. And you know, sometimes you miss your western food, so here we're just cooking some french fries and nuggets and Poppy really wanted some too. But no Poppy, you're not allowed to have any. How many of you guys actually eat uh, ketchup with chili sauce or... What's it called? Oh, ketchup. Wow. Here Poppy is trying to get some ketchup as well. This is my mom's favorite thing to cook. It's called uh, spicy soya sauce chicken. Basically, it's just chicken breast with some soya sauce and add some dried chili peppers inside and it gives it a kick. I love spinach. Let's eat more spinach, guys. Here is just our family round table. We usually eat dinner and, fam <laughs> dinner and lunch as a family. Here we have the soya sauce chicken and siu bak. Mmm, beautiful. Look at that crispy pork. We eat multi-grain rice in this family. And here we have mom's famous chicken curry. Remember to add some fresh coconut milk to give that extra flavoring. And here are some boiled potatoes because we all know good curry comes with great potatoes. Boil it a bit, then add it back into the pot. I love drinking soup, so here's just some vegetable soup, very basic with some corn, potato, and onions. And here's the final result. We have curry chicken for dinner and dao yu bak. Ooh, like a classic Chinese dish. I'm using the word classic a lot, aren't I? Well, if you know how to cook dao yu bak, tell me because I heard it's quite difficult to cook. Grandma cameo. Oh, avocado toast. It's so expensive in Malaysia, I don't know why. Actually, I do know why, but... Oh, kui gai. It's kind of like ta kui tiao, but in cube form. So it's basically fried rice cakes. Here we have salted chicken, my favorite. And just, you know, typical Chinese dishes around the family round table. We have tofu, we have fish head curry, we have tai bui, which is a stew, and that thing. Yes. Thai lok mi is known to be uh, Kuala Lumpur's Hokkien Mi, uh, but here we call it black fat noodles. I really like it. And you know, at midnight, you crave that curry maggi mi. Well, here it is, straight from the packet. Of course, in the morning, you wonder authentic things, so let's get some Hokkien prawn mi with bean sprouts and some pork and egg and spicy noodle soup. 
And here are just some extra clips of what we ate as a family throughout the week. We've got our vegetables, we've got our soups, we've got more vegetables, and of course, more curry. During the weekend though, on a special occasion, we like to eat out and our favorite place is Dowry Korean Barbecue. I know, I know to all my Korean friends out there, I know it's not authentic and that's suited for more of the local Malaysian tongue, but I really enjoy it. I like the blend of spiciness and stuff and kimchi jjigae is my favorite. Oh, look at that. And all the side dishes here, I'm just <laughs> scooping some out for my grandma. So I can't really cook for myself as I mentioned before because uh, since I came back, um, grandma really likes it to eat as a one family. So all of our meals, except for breakfast, is eaten as a family. But I'm really thankful, you know, during the pandemic, not a lot of people can meet others. Ooh, here is the glass noodles. Oh, what's it called? Japje? I think it's called japje. And here is our empty plates. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit short and it's a bit weird. You know, who wants to see people eating or what they eat in a week? I can't talk. I'm just recording this live without a script. But I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next week. And log out.